Adam, you're here today talking about the extraordinary impact of social media on cause marketing. Do you think the success of We Are the World for Haiti would have been possible without social media? Absolutely not. Um, I would say one of the most uh, successful things we did was our YouTube channel. I genuinely believe that it was, you know, kind of the ability of social media to spread the word about this so quickly that enabled those kids to, to see something because obviously these kids couldn't couldn't go buy the song or, uh, you know, in, in the traditional way, watch it on television. You know, there's no televisions, there's no nothing, but uh, they did have internet. They did have the ability to see some of these videos online. What do you think brand marketers can learn in terms of the global visibility of social media? And what is some advice you can share from your experience of We Are the World? The cause was so relevant, obviously, and so devastating. I mean, one of the most you know catastrophic events of our lifetime, easily, and at least for me, uh, like nothing else I'd ever seen. In terms of of social media and how that affected us, you know, I think that. You know, at least Visa, you know, who really underwrote the costs and, and um, you know, came through with the media buys, et cetera. Uh, you know, I think and I hope that the consumer associated, you know, this kind of massive effort of these American celebrities to spread awareness and raise money for Haiti uh, with that brand in a good way because they, they really, really detach themselves from it. Consumers are literally willing to switch brands. Um, if they can connect with the cause that the uh, brand is is supporting, um, and you know, all of us in our marketing classes or whatever, you know, learned how difficult it is to get a consumer to, to change their spending habits, to change their their choices, and um, you know, that's a powerful statement that people are literally willing to switch from one brand to another just because it has a cause associated with it. And the truth of the matter is, you know, usually that's a small percentage that's going to that brand, but I think the consumer recognizes that at least it's something, you know. What do you think is next, having spent so much time in and around digital media, you know, what do you think is next on the horizon? We have to start associating brands with music, otherwise uh, recorded music will be just become a promotional vehicle uh, for live performance. What's next? I hope uh, brands associating with music, but doing it in a way that doesn't tamper with the uh, the art itself, of course, because that's the biggest fear is that, you know, uh, the next Good Charlotte hit has a verse about Tide. You know, I don't think Good Charlotte or Tide wants that. My hope is uh, that as the targeting gets better, as the technology to know who you're speaking to gets better, as we are creating applications rather than a advertisements and truly, uh, you know, delivering to the consumer what he or she wants. Uh, that the music industry will be saved simply by nature of the fact that that you know it's such a powerful, powerful thing. You know, music music is, um, as Quincy likes to say, the soundtrack to our soul.